Have you ever pondered about the human cost of war? The city of Rafah in Gaza is a stark reminder of this. The Israeli attacks on Rafah, a small city in southern Gaza on the border with Egypt, have been escalating, and the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, or OCHA, is sounding the alarm. They warn that these attacks could lead to a large-scale loss of civilian lives. The situation is dire, picture it. Over half of Gaza's 2.3 million people are now living in Rafah, most in makeshift tents. About 1.4 million people are sheltering there after being directed by Israeli forces, who previously described the area as a safe zone. But safety is far from the reality. Intense Israeli bombardment from air, land and sea continues across much of the Gaza Strip, leading to further civilian casualties, displacement and destruction of civilian infrastructure. Indiscriminate bombing of densely populated areas is happening, and according to the OCHA spokesperson Jens Lerke, this may amount to war crimes under international humanitarian law. The ground invasion could further escalate the situation, and the UN Humanitarian Office warns of the unfolding events. The international community must not turn a blind eye to the escalating situation in Rafa. Imagine over half of a city's population living in makeshift tents, with the looming threat of a ground invasion. This is the reality for the people of Rafa, a small city in southern Gaza. Over 1,400,000 individuals have sought refuge here in what has been declared a safe zone by Israeli forces. Yet this safe zone has become anything but safe. In recent times, Israeli bombardment has intensified, causing further displacement and destruction of civilian infrastructure. Homes have been reduced to rubble, families torn apart, and the basic necessities of life are now a luxury many cannot afford. The relentless airstrikes have left the city in ruins, and its people in a state of constant fear and uncertainty. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs reports that the influx of internally displaced persons into Rafah is a result of intense fighting in nearby Khan Yunis, compounded by an increase in strikes in Rafah itself. This has led to a further strain on resources and an increase in casualties. The plight of civilians in Rafah is a testament to the urgency of international intervention. As the situation unfolds, it's clear that the path to peace is fraught with obstacles. Yet the resilience of the people of Rafa sends a clear message to the world. Their hope for a peaceful future remains unbroken. As the death toll rises, the Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, continues to call for a ceasefire. The grim reality of the situation has not deterred Hamas from maintaining its stance on the conflict. The group insists on a comprehensive ceasefire, one that would lead to the complete withdrawal of Israeli forces from the Strip. Moreover, they demand the removal of the oppressive blockade that has been imposed upon Gaza. But this road to ceasefire is not without its challenges. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made bold claims stating that Israeli forces have either killed or wounded more than half of Hamas's fighting forces. Such claims, however, have been met with skepticism from Hamas. Senior official Sami Abu Zuri dismisses Netanyahu's assertions, accusing him of playing the game of making delusional victories in the face of continued resistance. Indeed, the path to peace in Rafah remains fraught with obstacles. But with the resilience of the Palestinian resistance and the international community's growing calls for a ceasefire, there is hope that this road, however rocky, will eventually lead to peace. The situation in Rafah is not just a news headline. It's a human tragedy. The narrative we've unfolded today is a stark reminder of the world's interconnectedness and our shared humanity. If you feel moved by the dire circumstances of Rafa and its people, don't let this moment pass. Harness this emotion and transform it into action. Seek out reputable sources of news and information. Learn more about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the context surrounding it. Understand the historical nuances, the political intricacies, and the human cost. Knowledge is a powerful tool in advocating for justice and peace. Sharing this knowledge is equally important. Start conversations with your friends, family, and social circles. Use social media platforms to raise awareness. 
By doing so, you're not just amplifying the voices of Rafa's people, but you're also challenging indifference and encouraging empathy. Finally, take action. Support organizations providing aid to the people of Rafa. Advocate for policies that promote peace and justice. Write to your political representatives. Every act, no matter how small, contributes to a larger movement of change. Your voice can make a difference. Learn, share, and take action for Rafa and its people.